hello guys so in the previous lecture of the diagonalization procedure i had explained how you can diagonalize the given matrix a and in this lecture i will explain what's the application of the diagonalization so as discussed before the diagonalization helps to compute the higher powers of a okay and the diagonalization procedure is actually gives us a diagonal matrix for a given matrix a using the formula p inverse a into p fine so let's just write it in the other form or let's find out a from here first and then we will compute its higher powers uh, so for eliminating p inverse from this side i will multiply p on the left hand side is fine so p into d is equal to p into p inverse a p and this will eliminate what it will result into identity matrix and we will have p d which is actually equal to a into p now i need to eliminate p from here so i will multiply p inverse on the right hand side of this and hence i will obtain a is equal to p d p inverse fine okay since the diagonalization procedure results in the diagonal matrix D, that's why I have written D over here. Now let's move to the second step, which is actually the computational of the higher powers of A. So if I want to determine A square, this should be equal to A into A. And as we know that A is equal to P D into P inverse. So let's just substitute the values over here. And you can clearly see this p into p inverse will result in identity and we are left with p d into d since the diagonal entries are only multiplied that way d inverse and then remaining p inverse similarly if you want to compute higher powers of a that is a cube we will simply write it as p d cube p inverse and let's just extend this formula for the positive integer k we will have p d raised to power k into p inverse okay so let's do a quickly example quickly do an example where a is equal to 7 2 4 sorry minus 4 and 1 we have already p constructed for this matrix that actually consists of the linearly independent eigenvectors of a and it's equal to 1 1 minus 1 and then minus 2 we have already computed it the diagonal matrix d d is equal to 5 0 0 3 and another information that we have uh, is of p inverse which is equal to 2 1 minus 1 and then again minus 1 okay so let's just compute a raised to power 2 so what we need to do we just do that 7 or sorry 1 we will write p 1 1 minus 1 and minus 2 p then d square which is equal to 5 0 0 3 and let's just compute their square and finally we will have 2 1 minus 1 and minus 1 okay so if you just simplify this expression you can compute a square let's just do that we will get 2 into 5 raised to power 2 minus 3 raised to power 2 5 raised to power 2 minus 3 raised to power 2 2 into 3 raised to power 2 minus 2 into 5 raised to power 2 2 into 3 raised to power 2 minus 5 raised to power 2 and on further simplification you will get 2 into 25 minus 9 all right then again 25 minus 9 then 3 3 is a 9 18 minus 25 minus 50, 18 minus 50 and then again 9 into 2 18 minus 25 okay so in this way you can simply compute the higher powers of 
a obviously calculating the a square uh, should have been much easier as compared to computing the eigen values and then finding its diagonal matrix but what about when we are interested in determining a raised to power 10 or a raised to power 20 or even higher integers so this method is basically helpful when we are interested in the larger values of k okay thank you for watching guys